I am going to demystify relic electrolysis for beginners, just like you. If you are anything like me, you have a pile of rusty relics lying around that you really have no idea what to do with. Today, I'm going to banish all your fears about relic electrolysis because it really isn't all that difficult. In fact, if I can do it, you can do it, and I'm going to show you how. A non-metallic container. It doesn't have to be pretty. You're also going to need a sacrificial piece of metal. In this case, I'm using an L bracket. Some wire to wrap around the object. Baking soda, not baking powder. A power source. I'll talk more about this at the end. Fill your container about three quarters with water. After that, you're going to want to add some baking soda. This is going to make the electricity flow. Now the general rule is about one tablespoon per gallon of water. After you do that, you're going to want to mix up the baking soda so there's no clumps. The better you mix it up, the better electricity is going to flow. After that, add in your sacrificial piece of metal. All right, here is the horseshoe that I'm going to do some electrolysis on. I've wrapped the wire all around it, and now I'm securing the wire to the tub so that it doesn't move around. All right, next up is the power source. The black or negative side goes to the relic. This is very important. And then the red or positive side goes to your sacrificial metal. Remember to ensure that your connections are secure before turning it on. Time to plug it in. If you see bubbles begin to rise, then congratulations, you have done everything successfully and electrolysis is beginning on your relic. Just a word of caution right now that the bubbles are pure oxygen and pure hydrogen. So make sure that the area you are doing this in is well ventilated and there are no risks of sparks. All right, so let's leave this alone and we will come back in a little while and we'll see how it's doing. So it's been about 45 minutes and the water is really starting to get gungy and it's still bubbling. So that's really, really good. So it's been about four hours and let's check on the progress. First thing, very important, turn the power off. As you can see, the red light is off. Then just disconnect the two ends. Carefully take your item out. Try not to make too much of a mess. Rags are really, really good. Then take the item to a sink. And in this case, I'm using a utility sink. I'd get in trouble if I used a good sink. I'm unwinding the wire, getting it all off. And then I'm going to run some water and just use a wire brush and get rid of all the loose bits. It's a good idea not to let the metal bits go down the drain. So this is what it looks like, and I think it looks pretty good, but I'm going to put it in for a little bit more. Now this is where your preference comes in. Some people don't like to clean their relics too much. Other people like them a certain way. I think this needs a little bit more, so it's going back in. So I've got everything back in the tub, turn the power on, and let's let it go for a few more hours. And as you can see, the bubbles have started. So don't worry about changing the water and putting new water in at this point because as you can see, it's still bubbling and all is good. 
So here we are at about the six hour mark. I'm going to take the horseshoe out and then I'm going to change the water because um, I think for photography or filming purposes it's probably better with clear water so you can see exactly what's going on. All right, so what I have done here is I have replaced all the water and I added another tablespoon of baking soda. So if you ever change out the water, remember to replace the baking soda or it's not going to work. So I'm just gonna let this go for many hours and then we will check back. Fast forward to the next day and this is about 10 hours worth. And as you can see, the bubbles have almost all stopped. So this is telling me that the relic is ready. Safety first, always unplug the power source. Then we just reverse what we did in the very beginning. And we take out the relic and then we're going to go take it over to the sink for its final cleanup. So all the black sludge has now replaced the rust and it just comes off by scrubbing it in the sink with a wire brush and some water. So here is the final product. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not 100% clean, but I think it looks better this way. Didn't I tell you in the very beginning that relic electrolysis is actually very simple. There are some caveats or cautions and I think I need to go over those. The bubbles that are produced are pure oxygen and hydrogen. So be sure to do this in a well ventilated area with no risk of spark. While the process is underway, do not risk shock by touching it while it's plugged in. Do not use stainless steel as your sacrificial metal because when it breaks down, we are talking nasty, nasty carcinogens. Do not use stainless steel. And once again, just a reminder that it is a self-regulating process. You cannot do any damage to your relic because once the rust is gone, that's it. No more bubbles. So now that you have a nice and clean relic, how do you preserve it? How do you stop rust from forming on it again? Well, I use Johnson's paste wax. A couple coatings of that and it's good to go. Some people use some other things, but that is not what this video is all about. I almost forgot to talk about the power source. Now, when I first started, I did what a lot of people do, and that is use a cell phone charger. Now, in order to use this for electrolysis, you have to modify it a little bit. You have to cut the tip off and then you have to attach two leads, which you can buy at any hardware store. One to the red and one to the black wire. I ended up going to Amazon and I purchased a trickle charger. Now this is a lot more substantial. And as you can see from these leads, these are not going to break. Well, at least they shouldn't break. <laughs> so I hope I have demystified the process that is electrolysis. If you're thinking about doing it on some of your old rusty relics, remember to send me an email. Let me know how you made out. Until next time, remember to keep it real and I'll catch you on the next adventure.